Hey everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you didn't subscribe, please do so. Today we're talking about Cyclone 3DR and AutoCAD. How do we get from one to the other? And also, how did I create this parametric block in the last clip? So this is what I want to show you. So let's get to it. All right, here we are. We have Cyclone 3DR, we have AutoCAD. So I already had here everything in there. Let's delete all of it. And now in Cyclone 3DR, we can simply say we want to select all our circles here. Oh, there we go. We select all our circles. And it's a simple right click. And then we say send to AutoCAD. And there we have our open drawing. And then we have them in AutoCAD. Here we go. That's easy. In the same way, we can also create a line, for example, in AutoCAD. Bring it all across. And from AutoCAD, we can just go add in, send to Cyclone 3DR. And there we have it in Cyclone 3DR. That's the way how we can do from one to another. But last time, I had a list for all the radius for in. Uh, Cyclone Studio created for every single tree trunk and brought them into our, into AutoCAD and then I created a parametric block and I want to show you today how to do it. So a parametric block, so if we, we can just delete all of this one in here. So what it is, it's a circle. I just created a circle in there. It can be anything else, uh, anything what we want to use as our block. I like to have a circle and I just create two lines just to identify our uh, cross. One more from bottom to top. And then I simply say I want to create a block. So command block. Ah, now I need to type it correctly block. So this one opens up the block definition. We can type in our name, so we can say Cyclone 3DR Radius Block. We can say we specify our point, which is our center point. And we want to have your intersection point or the center point of our circle. What objects do we want? We select all, th uh, all three of them, circle plus our two lines. Enter. And then we just say we have the tick box open, open the block editor, there's where we actually then apply our parameter. And we simply say, okay. Now we're in the block editor. In the block editor, we want to define an attribute. So we can just go click on it, say our tag will be uh, radius, prompt radius. And the text height we can change we can give it already now a text height or we can also uh, edit the text afterwards in default actually this is where the magic happens the field category we want to have an object and from the object we're selecting it and for me the easiest one is now the circle to say i want to have the center point but in the same way i could use the line the center point, I can then choose what format I want to have, what's the precision. So we could use the one which we defined already in AutoCAD, or we can define it. Okay, I want to have only two decimal places, which is then up to the centimeter value. And here we say X, Y, or Z. What do we want to display? I mentioned before X and Y from Cyclone 3DR we're using for the position, and the Z value in this case is our radius value. So we untick X and Y and only want to display our Z value. In additional formatting, we can then choose a prefix and a suffix. So the prefix I said uh, radius equals and the suffix meters for the units. So we can see in the preview then what, uh, how it would look like. Okay, okay. And then we just simply say, where do we want to place it? We want to place it here 
everything what we need to do now is we save our block and then we can close it and in this time we can just do insert choose our block insert our block and the first time this one will be uh, zero that's fine so the previous uh, objects I can just delete well, delete now all what I need to do is last time I said copy from the center point and now I simply paste all of my XYZ values into my taskbar here and this one populated every single input into the right position with the right uh, radius then i'm just saved it